high linear algebra students. So uh, this is a series of three videos, okay? And each video should be, I hope, less than 15 minutes, but let's say approximately 15 minutes. So the point is just to finish the section 1.4. So I will be able to do it in three videos. There's like, uh, in this first video, I'm gonna present another way of calculating the matrix vector product. Okay, so what we will do is, we will start by computing the matrix vector product with a known matrix, like A, and a unknown vector X. And we will use the way first that we have seen it in class. So in other words, uh, let's say that this is vector A1, this is vector A2, so A2 here, and the vector A3, is, let's put it in orange here. Okay, then A times X, remember it is the linear combination of these three vectors by taking the corresponding weights X1, X2, and X3. So in other words, you have x1 multiplied by the first column, which is 2, negative 1, 6, plus x2 times a2, so plus x2 multiplied by, that's it, 3, 5, negative 2, and finally plus x3 multiplied by a3, in other words, the 4, negative 3, 8. And the idea here is to write the resulting vector, okay? And, um, and I will keep the color coding, so we will have here 2x1, so this is the first row, 2x1, plus 3x2 plus 4x3. Okay, now obviously, like, I'm just going to put pluses in between. And then, uh, look at the second row. We're going to get negative x1, negative x1, 5x2, 5x2, and negative 3x3. And again, we have like a plus in between here. Finally, we have 6x1 minus 2x2 and plus 8x3. Now, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write just one row at a time, and you will see why this is important. So uh, here I have x1, x2, x3 as usual. And notice that the first row of A is 2, 3, 4. 2, 3, 4. Okay? And as we do the matrix vector product, we end up with, um, so actually, yeah, let's actually again color code. So we will get two, three, four. Okay, my green is like purple-ish. I suspect that uh, I, I, I put the wrong cap. So, but then look, what's important, what's interesting is that uh, you can, the, the result, you can have a look at this row and this column, and you will get this times this times this. So you have here 2x1 two x two x plus 3x2.
And if you look at the other two rows, you will notice the same pattern. Okay, so if we do the second row, for instance, you have like x1, x2, x3. And then the second row is negative 1, 5, and uh, negative 3. Okay, so what's going to happen is we're going we're gonna to multiply together the negative 1 and the x1, the 5 and the x2, and the negative 3 and the x3. So we're going to get um, negative x1, so negative 1 x1, let's say, uh, plus 5 x2, plus 5 x2, minus 3 x3. And this will be the second row. Okay, so that's what the, what that's what's important to realize. Here it's the second row, and here it's the first row. And obviously, as you can expect, for the third row, it's going to be the exact same thing. So the entries of the matrix are respectively 6, negative 2, and 8. multiplied by x1, x2, x3. So now we look at basically the last row and the same column. And what we get is uh, the same idea. So we multiply the 6 by the x1, the negative 2 by the x2, and the 8 by the x3. And this gives us a new method to calculate the vector product AX. I'm going to try to crunch it over here. So this is a theorem. It's called the row column rule. Okay. So uh, what it is, is quite simple. The eighth row, the eighth row, sorry, of AX is the sum of the products of um, the The entries of the i row of A, perfect. Of A with the corresponding components of X. Okay, so it's a little bit long. Let's try to uh, to visualize it a little bit more. So uh, here, the i wrote of AX, so I'm talking about this matrix, is going to be the sum of the product of the entries of the i row of A with the corresponding components of X. So in other words, uh, if you take the first one, for example, you're going to do 2X1 plus 3X2 minus 4, uh, plus 4X3. There you go. So that's what you get over here. All right. Hopefully this was helpful. In the second video, so next video, what we're going to do is we're going to put that rule in application. So I'm going to write an example and we're going to compute the matrix vector product in the two ways that we have learned, meaning as a linear combination and then using this rule. And you will see how this rule sometimes leads to quicker results. See you there.